think of the way you guys started and the way you guys just stood the, the early run? Uh, I think I was a bit overzealous, a bit hepped up. Uh, but I'd rather that any day to come down flat. So, you know, I'll take that, I'll live with that, and live with the results. And as far as uh, our start, they got off to a good start. Uh, you expect that at home. I think, you know, James was hitting some tough shots. Uh, but to withstand that run, you know, it says a lot about our team. You know, we withstand the first run. We withstood the first run. I think we were down 12 to 4, and we were able to get back in the game. And then they went on another AO run. So to, you know, go through all that, and I think we came out of the first quarter down one. Um, you know, that was big for us. Uh, they feel like it makes a difference to have a great teammates who are always support and having a great coaching staff who's always support. Um, you know, that makes a difference as far as, you know, title 56-56 walking into the tunnel. Ain't much somebody can really say, you know, and I don't really pay much attention to what people are yelling from the crowd. They can, they can, I can get in trouble and lose money, they can. So, it's a lose-lose battle for me. For you, Clay, in the, two, in the second part for you, Draymond, Clay, it seemed like you were, you know, you were feeling it tonight, even after a three, even, you know, kind of gestured to the crowd. How do you, how did you feel tonight? And then for Draymond, what kind of element does it bring when he's on fire like that? I mean, I felt great. This is the best time of the year. Only second to the finals. Um, you could just feel the energy in the building to, at tip off. And um, shot was feeling good. I mean, I'm still a little upset about myself going 6 15 for three, but uh, I'll hopefully be better Wednesday. But, um, like I said, I felt great, and we've been waiting all year for this opportunity. And um, this is what you go are trained so hard for is uh, playing an atmosphere like this, and uh, we enjoy every second of it. We want to eight over ten on the run, but we got so much firepower and that playmaking ability. We're going to get right back into it in minutes, so it, uh, it's no fun, but it's part of the game. You just got to play through it. I think my favorite moment was the one where he drove baseline. Um, in the fourth quarter, and he rolls up over two guys, like flying and leaning out of bounds. And it's kind of a little stick shot. Um, you know, they played great defense on that play, so for him to steal the best shot, uh, it was tough. Yeah, Clay, can you remember a game where you that open from three that many times? It seemed like you guys had to do I mean, there have been many, but in the playoffs, not too many. You just got to take advantage. We got so many great players on this team, they're going to draw attention, just got to be ready to shoot. Um, like a guy like Nick Young, who made a huge impact tonight, he might not be in the minutes if he won in the previous series, but he's a pro, he stayed ready, and he stretched the floor the best thing. But um, hopefully, I get the same kind of looks on Wednesday, like, you know, run around and look, you know, operate great shots. Draymond, uh, he's Chicago. There were some real, looking, it looked like some tense clashes uh, between you and Trevor Reza at certain points in this game. What, what was, I don't know, what was the battle between you guys like? Uh, I don't really think we had really any clashes other than the second screen. Other than that, we didn't really come in. You know, they were, they were on staff and KD. We uh, didn't really have any clashes. However, I did think I said it was screen. <laughs> That's what I was referring to. Bonjour, uh, to Chris and Spons. Draymond, you have just started, uh, you started this game with so much intensity. Um, uh, I just want to know, uh, is, is it because it's the first game, or uh, this is where you're going to keep pushing it? Um, second game, third game, or third series? Uh, no, it's because it's the conference finals. Um, the longer you get in the playoffs, the more intensity you have to bring in. Uh, you know, being that we've been in the finals three straight years, I understand that. So I know my work, my intensity level needs to be in order to help this team win games. And that's what I'm trying to do. One for both of you guys, Mark Schwartz, ESPN Clay. When you watched Kevin tonight and you saw what he was able to do in the mid range, and they only had single coverage on him. The way he got amped up and he wanted to get back in the game at times and begged Steve to play 48. What did you what did you think about, you know, his energy and his competitive spirit? Oh man, when he's like that, he's unstoppable. Uh, I've been I've experienced it playing one on one. I feel like you do everything if you can to cut him off, but he's so good at just rising up. Probably the best in the NBA and just get a good look no matter who's on. He makes us go when he does that. So Draymond is 
Steph, you know, we're pumping their chest, playing with that, that spirit, and it just trickles down to his team. Because when the best player can do that, it's easy to follow. Draymond, last, last week you kind of mentioned to Kevin after game three that he wasn't aggressive enough against the Orleans. How would you compare the kind of Kevin that you saw in this game compared to back then? Uh, I think it's a huge difference. Uh, we saw it in game four, we saw it in game five, and we saw it tonight. Uh, you know, we always need him to stay aggressive like that. I think sometimes when you play on such a great team with other great scorers and Clay and Steph, you tend to sometimes think, oh man, I need to give them a shot. Where our offense is set up, the ball is going to find those good guys and they're going to get their shots. And so, you know, when he's playing aggressive like that, you know, we're really tough to beat. Um, you know, Steph didn't really even get it going tonight. Clay had it going, but, you know, we get all three of those guys clicking, um, which we have plenty of times. You know, it's great for us. Um, for both you guys, Ian Killian with the San Francisco Chronicle, can you talk about the importance of, this is the first time you've started at a playoff series on the road in your careers. Can you talk about how important you felt it was to win game one and, and just the, inten the, the intensity you needed to bring tonight? Um, it was a great win. It was a good series. It's far from over. I've been in the same situation with Draymond before. This first year, my second, or third year, his second year against the Clippers. We came out, we won a tough game. We came back and beat us by like 30, came too. So <laughs> it's natural to relax, but we're not going to relax. We still are not where we want to be. we got a long way to go. Different feeling, uh, start on the road. We haven't really been there in quite a while, so three years uh, we haven't started on the road. So it was definitely a different feeling, but I think it was a good challenge for us. Uh, you know, you get so much of the same stuff over and over and over again. You tend to take it for granted. Uh, so I think to start off on the road for us is, you know, this series is kind of cool. Um, you know, saying that, like they said, we won one game. Let's try to win two. Not relax and say, oh, we got a game on the road. That that don't matter. Um, try to win two games. Last one. Yeah, Tim Gunn, the athletic dream on falling up that a little bit. Uh, just how satisfying is it, though, to see Houston have this great regular season, uh, them talking about being obsessed with you guys, and then you take home court advantage away from in the very first game? Uh, I mean, it's, like I said, it's great to come out of it and win. You know, we come into this series, we don't, we don't post stuff on the wall saying they're obsessed with us. We don't post stuff with them saying they're better than us. And we definitely don't come into the mindset of still home court. I mean, that's never, I haven't even heard that, you know, over the past five, six days. All I've heard is that's the one there and try to win. Obviously, that ends up being still a home court. We don't really look at it that way. We're just trying to win every game we play in. And, you know, tonight we're able to do that. Uh, on Wednesday, it's going to be even tougher. So, you know, that's the challenge, to try to come out and play with that same intensity or even better. Um, you know, lock in even more. Uh, just continue to try to win basketball. Thanks, guys. Great, thank you. Kristen James will be in in one second.